take home. Or some. When you literally just started, it won't be ready for a while. We still need all sorts of things to make a big dinner spread. Hey, you just say the word, and I'll go out there, and the next thing you know, boom, bow, bow, bow. You got a spread of the finest order here. I'm so happy. This is going to be good. You know, I just love cooking a big meal together. It really brings the family closer in a loving way. Ah, don't touch that. Willie, you just got served. Yeah, well, I wish I'd just gotten served some food. Where is everybody? Ha! Huh, speak of the devil. Hey, buddy, where y'all been? Oh, you know, just showing John Luke over here how to be a master duck caller like his uncle. Ha! <laughs> Good. Well, we're gonna need some ducks later for this gumbo for sure. What y'all been up to? Oh, you know, just being awesome. The use. The use? Nobody says yush. Yeah, they do. My kids say it all the time. No, nobody says that. Sure they do. I just said it. Whatever. Y'all are ridiculous. Been like that all their whole lives. If they ain't competing, they're eating. And right now, we ain't doing neither. So what gives? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, Turbo. Hey. Y'all ain't gonna believe what I just saw. A psychiatrist? Hopefully you just saw your psychiatrist. No. I just seen a beaver dam the size of a house. I'm talking about like the White House. But hey, it was brown. So it was like the brown house. So is this like when the wolves chased you down and your shoes caught on fire? I know what I seen. Well, we gotta tear that sucker up. You bet you we do. Well, Si, where was it? That's the only problem. Let me guess, you can't remember. No, I forgot. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm afraid he might need more than a psychiatrist. Si may need a brain specialist. No. Well, what you gonna do, Si? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to war with those little rascals once I find them again. So what's the plan of attack? Well, I'm glad you asked. First on the agenda, fill up the iced tea glass, Second on the agenda, take a sip. Yeah, so far, so riveting. Hey, and finally, I'm going to take that ATV and go find them again. A lot of buildup, but just didn't deliver in the end, did it? It's scary that we're related. Well, if you're going out, try and shoot some squirrels for the stew, okay? Okay. And take John Luke with you. He could learn a thing or two from you. Wait, did I just say that? Come on, John Luke. You and Cousin Bo will be in my platoon, soldier. Time for Uncle Si to teach you three of my favorite things, driving and shooting. Well, what's the third? Good question. It's a tie between using the bathroom and napping. Here, John Luke, take my rifle. Si, show him how to use it. Silas Merritt Robertson, reporting for duty, over and out. Oh, boy. John Lick is in for it. I mean, at least we know that using the bathroom and napping are tied for Si. And he's not doing them at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ow, that hurt. Stop it, Willie. Don't make me pull your hair out. I'll do it. And that's a lot of hair to pull. 
Okay, okay, fine. Let's get to the dock. This car smells like a roast beef that got left in the sun all day. We'll take the boat from here. Get in. Fast sways by water. Hop in the boat. The John boat operates a little differently than the truck. Forward and backward are the same, but changing direction is a little more challenging. Almost there. I've seen a few of them rascals over here. This is the place. Hey, where'd Cy go? All right, John Luke. Get ready for the squirrels. That rifle's gonna be a little different than your shotgun. Namely, you've got to be more accurate. Get those sights right on the squirrel and squeeze the trigger. Nice shot, John Luke. Got him! Ooh, right out of the tree. That's dinner. Only a couple more to go. That'll do it. Let's head out. Hey, uh, you can't even spell squirrel without S-I. One of our jobs is to help Si find all the stuff he's buried out here and forgotten about. The last treasure of his I dug up, I found a small coffee can. Inside another coffee can. And inside of the smaller coffee can was a tiny container of unsweetened tea. It was like a Russian stacking doll filled with crazy. Fortunately, Sa keeps all his treasures in old ammo boxes. That makes them real easy to find with a metal detector. Why don't you see if Sai's got anything buried around here while I go look for him? I gotta go find out where Sai rushed off to. If he gets loose in the city again, Willie's gonna have my hide.
Houston, there is a problem. Something is a foul somewhere. We are losing water, and we don't know where it's going. We got big time problems here. That water was a foot up on them oak trees right there, Si. In order to attract ducks, we have a levee system to hold pools of water. No water, no ducks. That ain't good at all. Whew! Ducks are like women in that they don't like a lot of mud on their butts. What we have now is a lot of mud. I see beaver signs, sigh all out in here. And buck-toothed rascals, we figure it's beaver that's knocked the hole in, in our levee. But a bullet in every one of them. Burn the huts down. He's the pelting plague. He's a log chewer, water joker, flat-tailed rascal. Hey, I hate them suckers. John Luke, head this way and come meet up with us. Whoa, whoa, I hear something. You hear that? Yeah, sounds like trickling. That's right, and it ain't the kind you do in the toilet. That's the sound of a damned up creek if I ever heard one, which means one thing, beavers, Jack. I can definitely hear it. Si, do you think this is the way to the big beaver dam you found? What do I look like, Amerigo Vespucci? Honestly, Si, I don't even get that reference. John Luke, we'll pick you up at the dock. Looks like we're gonna do some beaver killing. We're driving, you're shooting, hurry up. They started to build a dam here. Too bad for them, we discovered it. Look at that. I knew them little suckers were around here somewhere. They were trying to be sneaky and quiet like ninjas, but we got them now. Now we gotta get these rascals out of here so we can blow up the dam and keep the creek flowing. They're trying to hide. Don't let them get to the reeds or we'll lose them. John Luke, on your right. On your left. Over there on the shore. They're trying to flee. Don't let them escape. Good job, John Luke. Let's turn back and see if any of them are still there. Get those little suckers. Get those little suckers. They retreated into their dam. Time to get the dynamite. John Luke, when I tell you, you push that plunger down and watch the action. This is what they call payback time. You do the honors. You got it? Yes, sir. I can do this. Get it done. Blow it. Good 
Born in Vietnam. Now that's the way to take a beaver down, my boy. Whoa. John Luke, I'm taking Cy out to the dock. Miss K needs some frogs for dinner. Why don't you try your hand at catching some? Good job, John Luke. I'm out at the dock. Let's do some fishing. Let's do this. When you find a sweet fishing hole, the best thing you could do is keep that under wraps at all cost. Hey, John Luke, if you want to be a Robertson, you got to know how to fish. I, for example, am an excellent fisherman. Bill himself said I'm the best fisherman in all the Robertson clan. I didn't say anything like that at all. Hey, Phil, didn't know you were on the radio. Everyone knows Phil is the best fisherman in Louisiana. But I'm second, right in front of Jace. No, that ain't true either, Bo. Better than Si? Not by a long shot, son. Let's just skip down the list and just say I'm a better fisherman than Missy. Well, by the power of grammar alone, I'll grant you that one. <laughs> I'll take it. The key to fishing is increasing your odds. First, you gotta find the right spot. Second, you gotta cast your line. A lot. Getting a big fish is a mix of planning and luck. Start by throwing the line where the fish are biting. If you miss your throw, might as well pull it back and start again. When the bobber's in the water, only try to hook the fish on a bite, not a nibble. Otherwise, that fish will back off and you'll have to cast again. When you get a solid bite, hook him. Little man, be careful though. If the line gets too tall, it'll snap. Follow the fish and only reel in when the fish ain't running. the fish to keep your line from snapping. The bobber looks bigger than the fish. Fish come in all different sizes. Keep casting to see if you can get a bigger fish. Sometimes it pays to change fishing holes.
Thinking we got some swamp gas going on here. Not exactly Moby Dick. That one will fry up good. John Luke, I just got off the phone with your dad. Sounds like they need some help at the warehouse. here. I just got through talking to Jace. He says to ignore Willie and come have some fun with me. Up to you. Either come. There are two destinations you can choose from. Set one of them in your GPS and start driving. John Luke, remember to set a waypoint in your map. You can either come bottle shooting with me, or you can meet up with Jace and Willie at the warehouse.
Well, looky here, looky here. We got a budding duck man on our hands. I think I even see a few sprigs of yeah, yeah growing on your face there, son. You'll be working inside the duck car room in no time. All right, time to get serious. Say what? I know you're allergic to the word work, sir, but we need to get our order done before the delivery trucks leave. Hold on there just a minute. Have you forgotten that your mama asked for ducks for supper? You boys haven't brought her even one mallard this year. I'd say you got a different kind of work to do. You best get shooting. Phil's right. We're not going to be able to go duck hunting and fill this order. Yeah, you will. I have a surprise. Let me guess. You're going to your hairdresser again to get a blowout while we do all the work. It does involve air, but better. Follow me. I'll show you. You boys have fun. <laughs> they gone. Welcome to the new Robertson Airboat. This is awesome. Yeah, it is. This will help us scoot around the swamp quickly when we're getting out to the blind. John Luke, this is another rite of passage in being a Robertson, driving your first airboat. Well, we better hurry up if we want to get back and finish that order in time. Step on it. We've already had a few flocks flying in, so grab a shotgun. Let's take a few shots before they leave. Time to put your duck calling to the test. You just remember what you learned from the master, and you'll be fine. That's right. Just like Jay said, you remember everything you've ever learned from me, and you should be fine. <laughs> master of what? The all-you-can-eat pancake buffet? Maybe. Here comes some, John Luke. Won't you take this one? Make your old man proud.
Jace, you ever think that maybe there's something more to life than shooting ducks and fishing? Nope. And if there is, I don't really want to know about it. Why did the chicken cross the road? You know I hate these jokes. Come on, Willie. All right, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the idiot's house. I don't get it. Knock, knock. Who's there? The chicken. You're saying that the chicken crossed the road to get to my house, then somehow was able to knock on the door with its chicken feet, and that makes me an idiot? Really, jokes aren't funny if you deconstruct them. shooting, John Luke. And not too shabby with the duck calling. I'd say we've had a pretty good day. I'm proud of you. You're proving to be quite the Robertson. Now, if we could just work on getting that beard to grow a little quicker. Jace, give him some of yours. You don't need it at all. <laughs> burn. That's not even close to being a burn, Willie. Where'd you go? Hmm, let's see. I have a fishing pole, a tackle box, and bait. Obviously, I'm skydiving. Can't you tell, you idiot? Whoa, so I burned you, son. Well, I guess I had that coming. But where are you going fishing? Look, right down there on the bank of the river, all right? The catfish are running now. I figured I'd take John Luke with me so he can see how a real pro fishes. You brought Phil with you? No, dummy. Me. You? Yeah, you're a pro, all right, at catching logs and river mud. Hey, look, you just watch, all right? When John Luke shows up, all right, he's going to have more fish than you've ever seen in your entire life. All right, Jason and I are going to take the airboat back to the warehouse. You guys stay here and do some fishing. We'll meet up in a little while. See how good of a fisherman you are. Sal's gonna help you beat the old record out here. You got a limited amount of time, so catch as much as you can before time runs out. John. This looks good enough. Sal, you wanna cool it? You're scaring away the fish. Willie, this is a A-B conversation. Kindly see your way out. Hey, that's what I'm talking about.
Hey, that's what I'm talking about.